Liliane Tivierge explains her new reality after catching a COVID-19 variant in March. That I can breathe like I did before. Uh, it's still a bit hard. She's just one of hundreds in the Quebec City area who've been infected. I'm okay with the fact that they want more measures to uh, be applied because it's serious. I mean, COVID's not a joke. The number of new daily cases has been rising steadily in Quebec City with more than 430 today. Public health officials say almost three quarters are variants. This gym, shut down last week after not following public health measures, is the epicenter of the largest outbreak, now linked to hundreds of cases, triggering dozens of other outbreaks. When we see such type of things, it's extremely frustrating. This ICU physician says his hospital can cope with the influx for now, but worries about having enough staff if things get worse. We see more patients that are in their 40s and 50s, uh, even 30s, even 20s, uh, which reflects the fact that the uh, virus is spread out in the community. Last week, the province closed schools and non-essential businesses in Quebec City just three weeks after easing restrictions. Now it's extending the new measures by another week. This new variant is very transmissible and it happens sometimes. There is, we call it a super spreading situation, like in the gym. There will also be travel restrictions for those in harder hit areas to protect regions where cases are low, with fines of up to $6,000 for people who break the rules. For Quebec City's healthcare workers, the sudden spikes are concerning. We feel the pressure of more and more positive cases and more and more people that have also the risk of infecting other people. In Montreal, cases are relatively stable for now, but the Premier says he's worried about a sudden explosion in transmission. So on Sunday, the city will go back to an earlier 8 p.m. curfew as a precaution. Alison Northcott, CBC News, Montreal.